this is uh, my first time actually directing something this big, so. You got it. hilarious. We, we went through our final draft today and I really liked what came of it and I'm excited to finally see <laughs> what all of these characters are going to be like in real life because we've seen it on paper and now we'll actually be able to see it come to life. They performed very well. They brought the characters to life and brought some aspects I hadn't even thought of before that just really added some extra depth to the character. That was really fun to see them do. I can't wait to see the actors meet each other and see how they play off of each other. I play Dorothy, who is married to Dennis. He really doesn't have his head on straight as far as what it takes to uh, keep things together, to pay the bills, to, uh, you know, maintain the bed and breakfast. They um, have put a lot into it, and it's not working out as well as they had hoped. Things are you know, running down, they're short on cash, and they're not making it as a business. I think they're kind of scraping by, they might not be able to be paying their bills, and it doesn't help that one of their tenants is not paying his rent. So I think she's a little bit high strung from that. That's kind of the, the feeling that I get from her. She's just a little bit on edge because she's afraid that at any moment everything can go terribly wrong and she's right, actually. He's a well-intended guy, uh, you know, not a bad bone in his body, but really not very capable of you know, handling the real world either. It feels to me kind of like um, a, a dark comedy. Um, I would call it a dark comedy because it's not really a horror film. There's not really a lot of gore. They all think that they're right, and so when everyone thinks that they're right, it just kind of collides a little bit. Great physical comedy. That's what I like about it best, just the physical comedy in it. So that was nice. But the plot thickens, if you will. So it's, it's a really fun film. Timing and all of the gags that we have <laughs> for this film could make life a little interesting. Um, I'm really confident in our art department team though. They, Maggie's awesome, she's got a creative mind like crazy and so I'm excited to see what they're all gonna look like. A sword that's inside of a cane. I've got a couple other things that are gonna be featured in this. That'll be really cool. Real handgun, that's gonna be Interesting, it's not actually gonna be really fire, but. Cut, that's cut! Didn't mean to do two. <laughs> Just happened. The practical effect I'm most excited about is the chair collapse, plus the smoothie tip over. It's gonna knock everything off the table. Hopefully, it doesn't end up being too much of a mess, but we're actually going to rig up the chair to break in a way that's not hazardous and that'll be that's a new experience for me and my art team we're gonna try to figure that out to the best of our abilities and make it work not a hundred percent sure how it's gonna turn out so that could be a possible challenge but that belongs to this person this belongs to somebody else it, I want it all to make sense and be very motivated you go into someone's house, it's not going to be clean. They're going to have maybe leftover coffee by the sink. They've got other stuff scattered about. They don't look very lived in without being overly cluttered and like a living hazard. It won't be dirty. It'll be fair. You know, I've never really tried comparing myself or living up to the expectations of other directors. I always try to form my own vision, my own kind of thing for my films and my work. and you know, every here and there taking some notes from what other people have done, but I want to have things have my look to it, not just trying to copy someone else's work. Like, I love Wes Anderson. Um, a lot of our lighting actually is going to be kind of based with a slightly more saturated shadow stylized bit of that Wes Anderson kind of lighting look mixed between that and Big Lebowski in some parts, but 
even then I wasn't really looking to Wes Anderson or anyone like that. I was just trying to establish my own vision. I want to make this film good for everyone that I've known and been going to school with these last three years. And I want to send them away with a finished product that they are going to be proud and happy to turn into their reel. There isn't a single non-essential person on this team, on this entire crew. Everyone's doing their job and doing it very well. It's been a little hectic here and there, you know, button heads, but I have confidence in my entire team working on this film.